Okay, so I had a dream, a little blip <clears throat> of a dream um, about my twin. And it it's kind of seemed like I was hovering right above, like just a few feet above, like right above a rooftop basically. It was like, looked like a one story building. He came like barreling out of a door. Kind of like, it kind of looked like um, as if there were two doors, like one on the left, one on the right, lot of, like real, like concretey, like a workout facility or a school type type kind of feel, like men, women, bathroom, locker room. Type. Okay, so there was like this wide, like a uh, walkway with rails on either side, kind of bridgey feeling, and. And he didn't see me or anything, and I was just observing, but I was, like, kind of above, so... I just saw him barrel, just bust open the door, run out, and right onto the... This obstacle course that was right there. And just started boom, 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 doing the obstacle course as fast and hard as he could. Um... And... Earlier in the dream, I... It seemed like it, I don't know if it was a manipulation or I, or if that was reflecting to me like the hesitation that I have because of any lingering doubts of my twin's love for me and commitment to this and everything. So it was like a younger male, maybe barely even 18. He seemed like a young, you know, like junior high, high school, whatever, kind of shorter kind of like some meat on his bones we'll say okay um fleshy a fleshy boy a little bit shorter than me with dark hair kind of looked like my twin but maybe as if he was like a younger version of himself or something just a very innocent portrayal okay because it was very like harmless looking it wasn't he was just like looked like a kid kind of a just like a young and soft-hearted sweet who was smiley you know and he said um he said my twin's name he said blank loves you i won't say his name but i have before but i just you know anyway just so i don't put those the energy out there for whatever negative attacks but He said, um, he loves you, he's going to call you, or something, like he's going to talk to you, he's going to call you, or text you. I can't remember what he said, but it was that he's going to contact you, okay? He said he loves you, and he's going to contact you. And I, I just remember the feeling I thought, I was just thinking and feeling like, huh, are you for real? Are you a demon? Are you, right, trying to get my hopes up, or who, uh, what's this, who are you, <laughs> kind of... So I don't know if that, uh, I, I feel like it was just, you know, an aspect of my own energy or my twin, okay, presenting this energy for me to trust and believe and have joy and hope, it, like, right? I'm just like, I'm all skeptical and down, uh -huh, yeah, right, what's this all about? Who, uh -huh, yeah, what you want? What do you, <laughs> what do you want to get from me this time? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. liar, 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 liar. <laughs> Okay, so that I, I don't want to feel that way. So, you know, that's why that was coming up for me to release that. That's what I feel anyway. So I just know that God put on my put on my spirit obstacle course. I looked over to the left as I was facing the doors. He was the door he came out of. It looked like a single door. Like I said, it was on the right, and okay, another one like on the left, and kind of like you know how it has like little um, kind of like cement wall a little bit around the front of the door for privacy you know like a little just nook corner around each side of the front that's why it looked like it seemed like two doors okay and he came out of the right side so the, you know divine feminine and i'll show i'll share the gematria for the obstacle course in another video because i have to move the camera and all that so i want to share these cards and i asked specifically about this dream Okay, I said, God, I already, I already know, I just want confirmation that, you know, 
um, that it's not AI projected thought forms and because they can't mess with the cards. They can't mess with pulling a random Bible verse. And say, okay, so that's why I like to use books and cards and things that aren't connected to electricity. Now, except for my fake fireplace, so, yeah. It's on the fritz. We got the other one on. Yeah, this one's just for looks now. The fan motor. I got. That's the problem. So. And it's so funny because just the way the cards came out just confirmed <laughs> his energy just right there. So let me angle this down so we can see the cards. Now. Oh, that's as far down as it goes. Okay. So. I asked God what was that dream about? What was his energies? Checking myself for accuracy. Um, oh yeah, this is an I open to right here. So these all came out together and before I could even get the question out, these all popped out together, which is exactly what the essence, this feeling, the energy of the, the dream was, okay? Nine of Wands, Eight of Cups, Chariot Card, Three of Cups. So it wasn't like he was running away. He was breaking free. Okay, Joy, Reunion. Okay, Triple Crown. Um, so I didn't get like th third party or gossip. Or I thought this is exactly how it felt in my dream. Like he was like... He just got the information or something or whatever he needed. He was all riled up in the gate like a horse ready to go. And then they dropped the gate. Okay, so it was like that kind of a thing. Just rearing to go. And it was one final little latch that needed to be unlocked. One little... Just right, put the key in the ignition and start her up. The key's in the ignition. You just need to turn it and start it up. And so... Nine of Wands, okay, with this Eight of Cups, it's like a big push forward, like the passion driving this, leaving all the stuff behind that isn't eternal, okay, that, that's not going to, it won't fly on this journey, okay. So, and with the Chariot, that's Major Arcana coming in, okay, that's Cancer too, which is my moon, and then we have Union joy celebration so this fire that's pushing him out boom and it was like he was just willing to get oh and look at that nine eight seven <laughs> six five four three two one right so on the bottom again to confirm confirm that three of cups energy six of cups okay union reunion so Six of Cups was on the bottom. Those all came out together. Sun card, which in the Egyptian deck, I really see this more even so than the Lover's card. I see this as the union, you know, the fire, the passion, the heart that unites us, that the Sun card. Okay, so that was on the top. Sun card with that beautiful union. Okay, open, honest, blessed, righteous, loving. Okay, just the free to... Two free spirits in union, okay? Six of cups, and then I opened up, okay? Boom. Ace of pentacles. Six of cups, ace of pentacles, sun card, and then, okay, three of cups. And boom, boom, boom. So it's like the masculine who are on their way. There's the six of pentacles, okay? So <clears throat> let's pull some cards for the collective see what we get for the ones who are resonating okay and just to give you hope for those who are okay not here yet we were all there too so this is to give you hope and confirmation that as you allow yourself to change and evolve and grow and surrender to that process your purpose reveals itself okay this is happening in your twin, your mirror, divine reflection. The one moon card, two of pentacles. So, 
Let's just see what comes out. High Priestess on the bottom, Knight of Cups on the top. Oh, my twin's a Pisces moon. All up in his feels. Yep. It's the perfect crime. Ooh, divine time. Right, isn't it the perfect crime? Cra <laughs> it's the it's the trine crime. Mm -hmm, the perfect crime. It's crime time. I just okay, tower right off the bat. Boom. Like I it was just like a blast of ba boom, okay? Right just I don't know if he saw videos. I don't know. See, it was like blasting through any confusion. Okay, it's also this is now the, the world's wide open. He, he's free. The divine masculine is free. Okay, the ones that have done this clearing and gotten rid of toxic people, places, and things and allowed for divine guidance to be the guiding light. Okay. Right, the new perspective, Knave of Swords. Listening to spirit, not everything you see around you in the world. Three of Cups, Empress, okay, I'm saying, High Priestess, Tower card, I'm, they are, their subconscious is coming to the, con now this is why they're de desiring their Divine Feminine so much. Because what's been buried in the subconscious for so long is now coming to light. Okay. So it's like the crown chakra, like the right side, right two of cups wanted to, okay. The right brain now got zapped, right? He was running out of the... <laughs> he was running out of the rights. And so th this is that emotional detachment, the watery, okay, the subconscious. So detaching from all the things that... All the darkness that's buried in, buried in there, okay, that keeps you stuck. So allowing that to come up allows us to release it. And as we release it, we release ourselves, okay? 88. Oh my god, 88. Jesus! Oh, Lion King, here it comes. Star card, 17, reduces to 8. The top card, 8 of Wands. The 8 of Cups, okay, just came out. What's on top? 8 of Wands. What's on the bottom? Star card, 888. This is written in the stars. <laughs> oh wowie um the movement okay detachment by emotional release bringing the subconscious forward to the conscious mind letting those crown chakra activations take place too many cards but knave of wands with the seven of coins Okay. Ten of Swords, Two of Swords, <laughs> World Card, Seven of So it's like, some of them, they, they've made their decision, they're very clear, they're done thinking about it. That cycle of, that mental cycle, okay, detaching, it was like a mental, like the subconscious, crown chakra, mental body. But that was keeping them stuck emotionally, because those emo in the subconscious we bury. Uh, that's all our pain. And okay, so releasing that, um, release those thoughts. You release the emotional response and attachment to those thoughts. Okay, that's complete. Now it's time. Throat chakra activation. Time for communication. Another seven, okay? Seven of pen time, divine time, time for communication, okay? <laughs> Knave of wands, seven of wands, seven of pentacles. Thinking about it, 
time is over. The thinky timey is over. No more thinky timey, okay? The thinky timey, she comes, we killed her, she's dead now. No more thinky timey. No more thinky timey, okay? <gasps> right, Queen of Swords? It's like, that's the divine feminine wisdom, okay? It's activated. We don't need to think no more. We need to be. We need to move in zero point energy. We need to walk in the spirit now. So that's just overall from all those cards that just came out. Here's the two of swords, okay? Just to confirm that. <laughs> and an ace of swords just to confirm that with the hierophant? This is that, that's what I'm saying, okay? This ancient wisdom is helping these decisions, decisions, scissors. <laughs> Two etheric bodies crossing. Here comes the crossing, yo. Could be marriage time, too. The institution of marriage, right? That's, okay, this just fell out. Nine of Wands was behind it, and then Queen of Cups. So it's the passion, the love for his feminine that's driving this, okay? The clear, the more clear the Divine Feminine is, because she leads the way, the right brain, okay? Now we have movement. The left brain has to trust the right brain. It's like, come on, I know that the right brain's like, come on, I know the way. And the left brain's like, no, I'm scared. What if there's no food there? What if there's lions? What if... And right brain's like, no, I know the path. I know it by heart. Just trust me. Okay. <laughs> right? They're like, no, but what if I'm, I'm scared? Because all the betrayal, the past. Okay, but they're, they're releasing that. They're trusting now. They're moving forward. Letting their feminine essence lead the way. Jeez, a five with the five on the... If there's a five on top, I swear... Okay. <gasps> free yourself. Okay, this is the mental body now being cleared and freed. Eject, eject button, eject. <laughs> right? We're letting go of the past. We're freeing ourselves from that emotional attachment to all those negative thoughts. Okay, because we cleared the negative thoughts. Now the emotions are being released, okay? Oh, wait. There was a card over here. Oh, I didn't even see that. That must have fallen out when the chunk came out. Look, the death card. That's what I'm saying. It's over. That the these it's done. The detach the decisions have made, been made. We're not feeding anything that isn't coming along the way with us on our path, okay? Including the negative thoughts and the emotional attachments, reactions connect to the thoughts, okay? We're right here right now, not in the past. That's done. We're free. That's dead. It's over. We're moving forward. <laughs> we got the map. Okay, we got the path map. It says, it says, it says, it says, stay in the center, middle way of the pathless path. The double diamond thunderbolt indestructible path of the Vajrayana. That's right, the middle way, the center way, the pathless path. Just walk that string of your heart core. Your heart core. Just keep singing that, see, the scent, boom. Just keep centered, stay in that center lane. Fine line, it's like a thread. It's like walking on a thread sometimes, right? Oh. Temperance. I love it. Now. Star card. What do we got? Another eight. Eight of pentacles. Star card. This is the purpose, the path, the mission, the golden path of now serving others. Okay. Higher mission work now. This is us healed, centered, balanced. Okay, now now we teach. Now we share this. That's Sagittarius, but it's also 
for this deck it's Taurus, okay? So that divine feminine wisdom, that's how we balance out. This is Gemini, okay? The twins, star. The mother essence that brings together the masculine and feminine that creates the soul. So this is our our super soul, our over soul for the, for the two twins, okay? The mother essence, okay? That gives birth and we split into two down here. Okay, denoted by that. Okay, she's the dark triangle. She, she comes from heaven, needs to go into the earth. He's the white triangle. He's from the earth. He needs to raise to heaven. Okay. The star dance. The dance of the star people. Okay, one last one. For the collective that are resonating with this energy, these messages and energies that I've been getting, and just to give hope to others. <laughs> oh, this is little, this is, yeah, hello, 20. Knight of Pentacles, he's a younger earth sign, there's the hermit card. Oh god, what are these? So there's Virgo, Knight of Pentacles. Oh, of course, right? <gasps> uh, 33 that's my life path number so this is just confirmation when it's close you'll know you'll keep getting just synchronicities that are specific to you okay numbers that are specific to you not just 11 11 it's okay when it's now it's union time you'll be seeing his birthday number everywhere his last name his, your your initials but with his last name first the initial or, okay. I'm like a total, I'm to, I'm dorking out over here. We just made banana bread and I'm high off the fumes. We didn't even put walnuts in it. Oh, God. Now, Queen of Pentacles, okay? Right? So, Knight of Pentacles, right? And the Queen. Okay, I'm like 12 and a half years older than him. So, and we're both Earth signs. I'm Capricorn, he's Virgo. Both with fire rising. Mine, Sagittarius, his. Leo, which, oh, that's the Empress card, but still that big old sun right there. Um, and then our moons are both water. His Pisces, mine, uh, Cancer. So, younger Earth sign male, older Earth sign female. Hermit, which represents Virgo in the traditional decks. Okay. His moon sign came up with my rising. I think his moon is attracted to my rising. I think his Pisces likes my Sag. <laughs> I think they're chums. So this is the cooperation in the physical with the Divine Feminine. This is the Empress card, yes. <laughs> this is a three, okay? And 33, we got 888 and 33. Hello, Jesus. Hello, Lion King. Hello, Levite. Hello, Lionheart. Hello, Redhead, Jean, Ferocious, Feminine. Whatever. This is what I'm saying, okay? So, when you start seeing stuff like this, numbers, everything specific to you and your twin, and you feel the energies, and you just know, and you're getting the dreams and synchrony, and you just know, okay? You know that the karmic attachment release is gone. Think it'll line up and it will be undeniable. Okay. The message will be undeniable. Okay. You guys, I hope that helped. Love, peace, and blessings.